One of the things that is being discussed right now among conservatives is that Biden's speech represents a low point for the influence of free market thinkers over the last, since the 1970s. Say 1970-something, early 70s. Richard Nixon basically declared, we are all Keynesians now. This is a Republican president. That was the height of progressive influence on American politics. Richard Nixon passed all the regulatory agencies that we have, many of the regulatory agencies we have today. The entire environmentalist agenda was Nixon's agenda. He preserved together with Eisenhower all of the New Deal and all of the great society. Nixon represents the height of the influence of progressives both on the Republican and the Democratic Party. In 1996, I think it was, Bill Clinton declared that the era of big government was over. The era of big government was over. Thus, I think, representing the victory of, you know, more limited government, free market, more that kind of thinking, at least, if not the action, at least the thinking. And indeed, Bill Clinton ran uh, a surplus in his last final year in office uh, uh, for the first time in many decades and for the last time since. As a consequence of this kind of thinking, mainly because of pressure from Republicans in Congress, Republicans who were dedicated in those days to limiting, trying to limit government, trying to limit spending, at least pretending, pretending, that uh, they were free market. So it's the influence, right? The influence, not the achievement, but the influence of uh, free market thinkers, free market attitudes, free market prevalence in the culture towards uh, big government started waning with Reagan and that had momentum. And even though George W. Bush, Bush was a um, uh, compassionate conservative, so the, 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 the commitment to markets was waning significantly under Bush, suddenly waned under Obama, and then completely collapsed under Trump. And really what we're seeing now with Biden is a complete swing to the other direction. Biden believes that government is the solution to all our problems. And there's no Republican voice to oppose him. Certainly not Trump. So the consensus across both political parties today is that government is the solution. Big government is the only way to succeed. Big government is our future. So this is an important debate. It's important to have a Republican Party that at least you know, to buy us time, not because they'll achieve anything, but at least tries to limit government, at least tries to limit spending, at least is an opposition party when it comes to what's going on. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. 
Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>